All right, my friends, so today um, I'm going to draw a campsite. Um, we're going to do it kind of like a landscape. So you can use a big paper or a small paper, um, but it should be horizontal, so it's wider than it is tall. And the first part we're going to draw is a tent. We're going to put that somewhere down here in the bottom right corner. And it's going to be kind of like an old school tent, so it'll be like kind of a triangular prism shape, not a dome. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a triangle. And then off the top of the triangle, I'm just going to draw it over. And then I'm going to repeat this line right here. So I'm going to kind of copy and paste this same line, same slope right here. Now connect the bottom, this corner, to that line right there. And then we'll add some wrinkles to the fabric, just like that. And if you want your tent to be closed, like the flap is closed in the front, the door, you can just draw a line right there. But if you want it to be a little bit open, you can turn that line into like a tall skinny triangle and fill it in. If you want to draw the flap kind of like held open, you can just put, I guess I would call it like half of a kite shape. So just like that. And you could tie it right here. And if you want to, you can add some poles sticking up that hold the tent up. And even some um, cord with the stake at the end. So let's draw a line from the corner and then draw a really small little rectangle and there's your cord with sticks that's just an option you can do you don't have to do that obviously over here I'm gonna draw the fire so first I'm gonna start out with the firewood and I'm gonna draw an oval a big circle an oval. So we got three shapes right here in a row, and I'm going to connect the top of the oval to the circle, top of the oval to the circle, and then you can add some texture in here. All right, so let's continue adding the rings to the wood. And uh, we'll do a little bit of texture here. So I'm just going to do some lines for the log texture. And then we can draw our fire. And the fire can really look like anything. So the next step, um, I'm going to add a tree, pretty big tree, and it's going to go up off the page. So somewhere up here, kind of towards the middle, I'll draw a line from the top of the paper down about that far. And then I'll move over just a little bit, and I'm going to draw the letter V. And the letter V is going to go and touch the top of the paper twice. I'll move over just a bit. I'm going to draw a line just like that. And then I've completed my tree and it's got a branch going off to the side. If you want, you can make your tree kind of flare out at the bottom where the roots start to hit the ground. And 
draw a zigzag line for some grass. Now add some texture for bark on the tree. Just like we did to the logs down here. If you want to make a hole where an, a possum lives or a squirrel or an owl or something, you can do that. You obviously, you can add your own details. You don't have to do that. Now, since this is a landscape, like an outdoor place, we need to do a horizon line. And your horizon line can really, it can look like pretty much anything. It just has to go from one side of your paper to the other. It could be straight, it could be kind of bumpy. Mine's kind of got a hill to it. Now, <clears throat> this is uh, really going to create a sense of space in our picture. I'm going to add, it could be a hiking trail or it could be um, a stream, a river, it could even be like a road. Um, but I'm going to start on the horizon line, just next to the tree kind of. I'm going to go over. So I did a pretty tight hairpin turn with my line all the way this way and then back. Now this part's important and it can be kind of tricky. You're going to start really close to the other line and we're going to draw the same line but we're going to get like as we go we're going to get further and further away from it. Got to be careful drawing by the fire here. And there we go. And we know that when things are further away, they seem smaller. When things are up closer, they seem bigger. So that's why my, I don't know if this is a road or a trail or what, but that's why it goes from small to big. Um, we can start adding some texture to it. I can also start adding some texture to the ground. So if this, in my mind, if this is all grass, then I might add some zigzag lines. And as I go up towards the horizon line, they're going to have to get smaller because it's further away. Also, I can add some boulders or stones. So I'm going to draw like a bumpy rainbow shape. And then at the bottom to connect it, do a zigzag line. That means like to show that the stone is sitting in the grass. And do another one a little bit smaller right here. Now I think it's time to add your own details. You can make your picture happening at night, draw the moon, you can add the sun, you can fill the sky with clouds or stars. It's all up to you. <laughs>